Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm very excited because I kind of had this epiphany on the way over here and like in the shower this morning at the same time. Wait, I'm... <laughs> I had this epiphany earlier today in the shower and on my drive here I kind of figured it all out. But today I'm going to show you how to do patchwork anything, patchwork denim, patchwork jumpsuit, patchwork overalls, romper, you name it. And it's going to be really fun. So basically all you'll need is some fabric to patchwork with. Today I'm using, and honestly it's common sense what I'm about to tell you, but it just came to me. But I'm using this really cool like plaid curtain that I found, and then this not plaid, but like cool geometric curtain. I'm going to combine them together in a patchwork button front short. What we're gonna do today, you're gonna just need a few things. Hopefully you already have a pattern. If you don't, places like Michael's and Joann's, they sell patterns for whatever you want to make. But if you don't have a pattern, you'll just need, where is mine? You'll just need a beautiful measuring tape. So because I am making shorts, what I'd wanna do is take measurements for shorts, but for this technique of patchwork, oh Lord, my shirt is so open. <laughs> for this technique, all you'll need to measure is the widest part of your body for that garment. So if you're making shorts, you'll need your hip measurement. If you're making a shirt, you'll just need your bust measurement. If you are making like overalls, it'd be your hip. Anything else would probably just be your hip. You'll take your measuring tape and measure the longest or the, the width of the widest part of your lower part and that's your hip. And you know that because it's like right in between your little booty cheeks. So that is your hips. You want it to be right in between your cheeks or right in the middle of your cheeks and then go over your front area. So for me, like my hip measurement would be 38. And then I would also need to know the length that I want my shorts, which you'll want to guesstimate because you want to leave room for like seam allowance and hemming. So truly I want my my shorts from my waist, which is like where your belly button is, you want to measure down. And like truly I'd want the shorts to be like around 15 and a half inches long, but I'm gonna go with 18 just so I have enough room for like waistband and all this other stuff. So once you have those two measurements, what you'll want to do is divide the width one by four, which for me would be 9.5 inches. And what you'll want to do is add some room to that, some give. Just in case you don't know if you want your shorts to be boxy or tight, because if you use that, they're going to be pretty tight to my hips, because that's my hip measurement. If you want some lee room, so I'd probably go about 12 inches, honestly, to give you enough space for seam allowance and to not have the shorts hug you. But what you want to do is basically draft out a rectangle that is 13 inches wide and 19 inches long. And that rectangle will be your guide for how big you need our next step to be. So next what we're gonna do is cut out squares all the same size from both fabrics, as much as you need, as much as you want, because we're gonna end up combining them and sewing them all together to be the width and length of our block. So then after that, we can cut out using the pattern that we have or the pattern that we draft if you're drafting your own pattern using your own measurements. And hopefully this will end the way I want it to. <laughs> So first I started out by laying out my fabric and seeing how much um, space my square needed. And I tried to cut it all in like one go, but it was really thick because the curtain was very thick, so I would not recommend that. Oh, dance break, I guess. Anyway, um, so yeah, once I cut that out, I kind of just unfolded it and did it the long way. I'm showing show you guys again with this clip, and if you want to see what I was dancing to. Come on, hey! There you go, I love a good snap and clap. But basically I just cut out all these squares, um, they're five and a half inches all the way around because a half inch is for seam allowance when I put them all together. These are all the squares. Next I place my pattern down just to see how many squares I would need and I need uh, a grid of three which is really convenient because it's not that many. So I started to just sew them together. I did the rows first and then combined them at the row seam. As you can see here, I'm just placing them right sides together and sewing them down. Once that was done, I had my grid block, which is really nice and everything is sewed down and surged so we don't have any messes or frays. And then I went and cut everything out. Halfway through I realized that maybe I should do four just in case, so I added an extra row, but then cut everything out that I needed. So this is one piece for the back, all done. And then I also cut out a piece for the front because I only wanted one half of my short to be patchwork. 
This is me just putting together another grid to cut out um, the front piece now. Then I cut this piece out and then I used both respective patchwork front and backs to cut out their counterpart and the regular blue plaid fabric. And so I sewed the back together and also tried to figure out where I wanted the pocket to go. Once that was decided, I went ahead and did the front because you guys know whenever I do a front on camera, I always mess up. But for the button front, that's where I decided to put the button holes at about three inches apart from each other. And then once I did that, I marked where the button should go, placed them there, and went and sewed them on as well. A button front is um, an easy alternative for those who don't know how to do a zipper fly just yet because it's pretty simple. Then I put right sides together for front and back and sewed them down. Did a little fit test on how it fit in the waist. Um, I took it in just a little bit more, but I loved where everything was sitting. And then I had to figure out a hem for the bottom of the short. And lastly, I just threw on the waistband, sewed that down and also hem the bottom. And then I was done. And this is the way it turned out. I added a clasp to the waistband just because I thought it'd be better than adding another button. But yeah, I was really happy with the way this turned out. Um, I really like the back pocket as well. Hi guys, so I'm done. Um, today is a new day, by the way. Um, I don't know, by the way, I edit this, if you can tell. But I'm moving, so I have some things to do at home really quick. I wanted to come back and finish these pants. I'm so happy with the way they turned out. Kind of halfway through, I was like, this is gonna look good. I don't really know, but I am very happy. I mean, next time I'll definitely put pockets in it, but I don't have time because my family's already texting me to come back and help move. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna show you the pants one more time. Also, please excuse my ashy legs. I did not come um, planning to have my legs out. I put on real pants today, but I really love how the button front turned out. And then I put a clasp up here just because I thought it looked better without um, a fourth button. I mean, all in all, I really like this and this is cool. I just love that this is a technique that you can use with any material that you have. So it can be denim, it could be just whatever you find. So I really hope you guys found this technique helpful if you do try to recreate any kind of patchwork, whether it be pants, jacket, shorts, whatever, please tag me and let me know at Happily Dressed. I think I want to do a matching patchwork like jacket maybe with like a patchwork sleeve as well if you want to stay with me on the sewing journey you can hit that subscribe button right down below you can also tap that notification bell to be notified when i post new videos i try to have a new one out every week you can also follow me on instagram at happily dressed and i will see you guys in my next video see you guys later